Marcus Conti reporting. Tomorrow is Act 10 for the Gilets Jaunes in France. The world is waking up. Is it? Is the world waking up? I don't know about that. So check this out. Down in uh, Venezuela. Problem in Venezuela. What's going on in Venezuela? Does anybody really fucking know what's going on? Check this shit out. U.S. National Security Advisor has announced a new wave of sanctions against three Latin American countries. Here indeed is how John Bolton described the left-wing governments in Cuba, Nicaragua and Venezuela. The troika of tyranny in this hemisphere, Cuba, Venezuela and Nicaragua, has finally met its match. Oppressive regimes and ideologies, forces of oppression, totalitarianism and domination. They worship a false god. We know their day of reckoning awaits. The Nicaraguan regime, like Venezuela and Cuba, will feel the full weight of America's robust sanctions regime. We will no longer appease dictators and despots near our shores. Well, that is just snippets of a long speech. <laughs> he said he dissed their God. He says they worship a false God. Oh, damn. False God? What does that mean? My God is better than your God? All right, so what's going on in Venezuela? All right, so it's U.S. economic warfare. That's really what's going on. You don't you don't believe it? You think it's it's the S word, right? They tell you in the in the mainstream media, Fox. You watch Fox. They say socialism is communism, right? That's what's going on in Venezuela, right? <laughs> no nah, man. So, so he's so so. There's John Bolton. John Bolton is uh, technically the right arm of Trump, right? And uh, they just uh, to, uh, back in May they had an election, right? The, the president there is Maduro. Eduardo was his name, fucking Maduro. Nikolai Nikola Nicholas Maduro is the president, right? He was elected in May of last year. Now, are the elections rigged in in Venezuela? Of course they are. Are they rigged in the United States? Of course they are. They're rigged all over the fucking world, right? But the the fact is that under their economic de democratic pol you know setup. They had an election and Maduro's elected, right? And he's the, the heir of uh, Hugo Chavez, right? Back in the 90s, right? And uh, he's been elected so far, right? So he's he's starting his second, yeah, second uh, two-year term, right? And so, so, so what else is going on down there? So he's the elected president, right? So why is it a, why is it tyranny? Why is Bolton out there saying that it's a, uh, a, a, uh, Troika of tyranny. And who is the Troika? They say in Cuba, Venezuela, and Nicaragua. All the countries around the Panama Canal, right? That's, you know, fucking, and Venezuela is an oil producing country. So, so I'm trying, I'm going to try to make this, I'm no expert on Venezuela, but I'm just trying to make it simple. To, the, the, the takeaway really is that everyone has a right uh, to build their own democracy, right? Do we agree with that? That every country has a right to, set up a country and and pursue those those uh, their constitution uh, amongst their people to the best of their ability to their to their liking right to to build a democracy in their own vision right i think we all agree with that right we certainly agree with it here in the united states right that everybody has that right so but not in venezuela they're not allowed to do it right so you got this basically this propaganda campaign going on right there now there's there's insane inflation i think it's like a million to one or some shit fucking their money's worthless right so the the economy has has halted but why right now you heard john bolton right they, they're, they got massive sanctions on the country right they're trying to topple they're basically trying to topple maduro and who is they it's the fucking guy it's dc it's the guys in washington it's bolton it's pompeo it's trump right and why? Why are they why are they doing it? They do it under the under the notion of that it's that they're trying to stop socialism and communism and right. They won't. They don't want the people to pick their own government, whatever that government is. It's it's none of those things. It's actually a democracy, right? They 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 do elections, right? But really, it's about uh, you know it's it's about the oil. It's about Sitco. It's about the fucking the the resources under the Venezuelan people's feet, right? So what's the strategy down there? The strategy, what they're doing is they're, they're putting up this puppet, right? So this is a sock puppet. His name is Juan Guardo, right? And he's the uh, head of the National Assembly, right? He was just elected. And um, 
he's out there calling Maduro a uh, a usurper, right? So basically, the, the he's the opposition party, and the opposition party takes direct directions from who? From the from the State Department. That's that's how that's who they're taking their marching orders for. So is your government is the good United States of America planning a coup in Venezuela? It sure looks like that. Right? Why don't you get out of their way, man? Why don't you let the country govern itself, right? right? Why you, you when you oppose sanctions, you say, "Oh, fucking sanctions! Oh, they're, they're in the shithole anyway. They can't, they can't fend for themselves." You know, right? sanctions are, are 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 devastating. They're an act of war. When you prevent a country from trading in medications and food and supplies. Right. And not only are you not willing to trade with them directly, but you're threatening the people around them to not th- trade with them. Right. That's what that's what they do. They got they got now the fucking guy. What's his name in uh, Balzan Balzanto Balzanato in Brazil. He's a, the guy's a kook. The guy's a fascist fucking rightist kook. Right. And 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 he's got his own problems with the U.S. Right. This is this is bad. Right. This is a bad way to try to spread democracy. Right? There's no, there's nothing democracy, de- democratic about it. You're saying you're trying to rid a country of a tyrant, a tyrant using tyranny. Right. You're enforcing your will on their country again, America. That's what we do all over the place. Why not just let them be? Right? What's your big fear? Right? Oh, because China has substantial investments there and Russia has substantial investments. They have partners because Venezuela has trading partners that you don't agree with. That's why you're trying to sink their nation and get in the driver's seat. Right? It's fucked up. Right? So um, Bolton is now saying that they don't they don't recognize they don't recognize Maduro. As as the the uh, they they call him an illegitimate, he has an illegitimate claim to power, but he was elected under their 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 rules, right? He's an elected official, right? And the people are not uprising against him, right? Let the people figure it out, right? It's just, it's if it's going to be a civil war, let let the people conduct their own business in their own country. Why are you inter- intervening, right? Right. That's what's going on there. So. Trump has used the phrase, a military option to deal with Venezuela. To deal with what? What are we trying to deal with? The guy that is elected by the people and is, is, is holding his ground, right? Let go of the sanctions and get the hell out of there and leave the people alone and see what happens. You might have a better result. Right? Maybe not the result you want because of your, you know, you, you want to topple the government and insert the sock puppet. So that you can have influence over the Venezuelan people, you officially own it, and 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 distribute their oil and distribute their resources. That's what that's what it's really all about, right? So there's no other way. I I don't see any other way of you know looking at it. They've had twenty what twenty five elections in twenty years, right? We, we we're just doing it again. We undermine we undermine other countries to seize their resources. It's not right. So I mean, my takeaway of Venezuela is that there will there will be a coup, right? They're going to try to topple Maduro by by basically slandering him, saying that they're trying to get the military there to side with the sock puppet Guardo and oppose Maduro, right? That's the that's the strategy in the U.S. and it's just not going to happen, right? The, the Venezuelan people are not going to. They're not gonna. They're not gonna go there because it's not in their best interest. It's not in their heart of hearts. It's not even in the mind stream. They look at it. They don't even know who this guy is, Guardo. Right? He's like a. He's just like a plant that poof, he fucking fell out of the sky somewhere, and landed on the ground in Venezuela. So, again, it's complicated. It's a complicated issue. But Venezuela has a long history of self governance, right? Before the '80s, before capitalism and the globalists stepped in. You know, and and all the companies trying to battle out, you know, battle for for uh, for a piece of the pie, right? You know, these are small countries. Let them self-govern. Leave them alone, right? And let them let them 
flourish and be beautiful and free trade and and let the people let the people live their own lives. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.